Well, there it is, I'm Kari, the vacuum tube witch. And this is my little art project. The electromechanics, not electroharmonics. And I put it together in, a, in the last few days. I will demonstrate how this thing works. Because this is a, a little installation I made to, with uh, vintage uh, electronics and automation components. <laughs> you can see the visual mat um, exposure timer being the main control unit for um, this thing. This is the distribution switch that I modified. The AEG time relay that uh, was the subject of uh, my first Firetron fan movie, Firetron fan uh, video, and the mains transformers to power this thing up. And I've got my Razer Keo Pro as a uh, mobile camera to show the details. So, let's get a better view on this thing. So here we are with the transformers. <coughs> I made the labels with an old school embossing lab label maker. Give us all power to fight the power for all mankind. Turn this on. And going down we've got the IEG the terminal strip with a capacitor for the Nixies. The rotary distribution switch that I covered in one of my latest videos. And uh, this distribution switch uh, deserves some more attention because I modified this. I had to cut out uh, a section from uh, one of the two halves uh, and uh, it applies uh, the ground to two adjacent uh, contacts on, uh, on the switch. And those contacts, they are connected with uh, the cathodes in the Nexus. One of those uh, Nixie tubes goes forward, the other one goes backward. And uh, the Nixies, uh, they will show zeros uh, right when we turn on the unit. This is the timer relay's job. Nectimera, Nectimida, that means uh, neither brush uh, nor timid. Act with caution. Uh, this, is the, this is the motto of my city, of Gdańsk. And one of the Nixies is counting up, the other one is counting down. For as long as um, the distribution switch is running. And for as long as uh, this uh, exposure unit's uh, timer didn't run out. And the exposure unit's timer runs faster when we light up the photo cell, slows down when we darken it. Moves very slowly, but uh, when I uncover the photo cell, it will go down faster. I could even use a cat laser. <laughs> Let's turn this up and I will use a uh, cat laser and look like it's... No, this was not the laser, this was a stroboscope. Mm -hmm. 
goes down like crazy. And when the timer stops counting, it cuts power to the timer. The timer has a built-in rectifier that uh, is used for powering the Nixie tubes. The output of the rectifier here goes uh, to the capacitor and uh, power from this capacitor goes uh, for this uh, wire bundle to the distribution switch and the Nixies. There's a uh, motor on the distribution switch. I had to modify it pretty heavily because originally the motor was um, the shaded pole AC induction motor and that one uh, was turning way too fast. The only way I could uh, slow it down it would be with a uh, variable frequency drive. That would be pretty expensive so I didn't want to go this way. I changed the motor, I did a little mechanical modification, used a uh, DC motor and uh, I drive it from uh, one of the sections on uh, the main transformer. I put the full bridge rectifier and filter cap on the motor. And this is... This is how uh, I uh, made it uh, not only to have um, the contact configuration I needed, but also uh, but also uh, to turn slow enough to not uh, go not go uh, fast uh, like crazy, but uh, so that you can uh, actually see something on the nexus and. Coco is interested, of course. I could use a, a smaller tap on the main transformer's winding to make it turn a little slower, but I think I will carry on doing it uh, like I'm doing it now. The motor is driving the change. And uh, I made the old school embossed labels. I will really need to make a video about my uh, label makers <laughs> because I've got uh, I've got uh, two demo label makers uh, for working with a uh, computer. And I've got a mechanical handheld uh, embossing label maker, the old school kind. I uh, I like it uh, really much. And uh, this sets the this sets the maximum time. Now it's about uh, 85 or something, but I can turn it down. If I turn it down to, say, 40 and make the make the timer spin faster with a laser, come on! Looks like the battery ran out. I have the other one. Should be fast enough if I light it with a flashlight. down the stop uh, to something like 30 
wind it up and uh, it goes uh, max to 30. And after the counter stops, the power from the capacitor bleeds uh, through the nexus, so they uh, stay they stay uh, lit for a few seconds and uh, finally go down. I added uh, those uh, resistors, something like. like uh, 470 to make sure that the potential on the cathodes uh, stays high when uh, when the cathode is not grounded and of course i used uh, my favorite techniques of uh, electronics assembly with point to point um, and uh, terminal strips and uh, cable lacing this project is pretty big on cable lacing there's a D-sub miniature connector on the Nexus because uh, if I ever get a pair of IN18 Nexus, the big ones, uh, I will just uh, disconnect this and uh, replace the indicator assembly. And uh, that's gonna be a pretty easy mod. Easy and uh, quite nice, but those Nexus are one hell of an uh, expensive tube. I wired those transformers back to back. Uh, the big one lowers the voltage to say 24 volts plus uh, 5 volts for the motor and the smaller one steps that 24 volts to 180 or something like this for the Nexus and for the time relay module because uh, the module was uh, originally meant to work with uh, the mains voltage and uh, I didn't want to have uh, the, the unseparated uh, mains voltage running around uh, this installation for safety reasons and the Visomat is also powered from um, the separation transformer for safety I could uh, connect it to the 230 from the mains but uh, I didn't want to the enclosure is grounded but, uh, but yeah um, of course uh, if you touch uh, if you touch the contacts on, uh, on the side when uh, it's working you can get shocked so I think that uh, the way would be to add a uh, acrylic cover to prevent uh, accidentally touching any of those components. So that would be my little art project, the electromechanics, how it works. 
what I did, uh, what I modded uh, to make it work like it works. I hope you like it. <laughs> hope you give me a thumbs up for that. <laughs> I made a, a little short video yesterday on this, but uh, this uh, really called for a fully featured video. So without further ado, stay determined and carry on. <laughs> 